For the second time in a month, the U.S. is sending troops to Saudi Arabia to help protect that country from Iranian attacks. In response to continued threats in the region, I've ordered the deployment to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia of two additional fighter squadrons and supporting personnel, along with additional Patriot and Thad air and missile defense batteries. Taken together with other deployments, I've extended or authorized within the last month. This involves about 3,000 United States forces. A few hundred U.S. troops went to Saudi Arabia in mid-September after Iranian drones and cruise missiles destroyed part of the Abqaiq and Kohais oil facilities. Washington also imposed sanctions on Iran's central bank and its sovereign wealth fund. And this is on top of our oil sanctions and our financial institution sanctions. But this latest deployment is much larger because the Trump administration says the threat from Tehran has worsened. We are accumulating risk of a regional war. I've been saying that for over a year, here and in other fora. And then on September 14th, we had an act of war. And we continue to accumulate risk of a worse conflict. A Mideast policy expert said the troop deployment is important, but not as important as many assume. The additional missile defense systems seem to be a clear reaction to the successful attack by drones and by missiles on the Saudi oil facilities which actually was a great embarrassment to both the United States and to Saudi Arabia. U.S. officials insist they're not being provocative by sending more troops and weapons to Saudi Arabia. Chances are officials in Tehran will disagree. Rosalind Jordan, Al Jazeera, Washington.